Hi everybody, welcome after many months that I was not here on YouTube, but of course I have my reasons, basically on working, living, trading, programming, studying, and um, I'm quite usual to, <clears throat> to study for a long time and deep the markets in life conditions and find new ideas from the produced ones that could implement the ones that I'm doing <clears throat> and if you followed my, my previous videos of course you may realize that the engine that I created to develop a kind of different understanding of the foreign currencies movement uh, which is the UFO algorithm uh, in this webinar in this video webinar I would like to show another side of the UFO but this time this is today is the 5th of January 2019 and um, so it's the beginning of the year actually we're between the Saturday and the Sunday while I'm recording this so we are in the weekend markets are closed and I would like to do a different kind of video that anyway can lead you to inspire you and give you an understanding both if you are a beginner or expert, it is always usual to uh, give a consideration to a uh, math-based approach uh, to the forex market because we are dealing with numbers, fractions, whatever, they are numbers, so their language is math. This is what I am uh, believing day by day due to my personal research. Before starting, before beginning, uh, I would like briefly to thank the many mails that I received. So the many of you that are writing me emails every day and not every day or every week I can stand upon the traffic uh, which is pretty intense and require me extra effort and if I'm focused, actually I was working in the last uh, six months to developing uh, something that I will show you in the next minutes uh, so if I'm focused on something then I tend to avoid also messages that are very brief and insignificant uh, while I tend to uh, give a reply or a consideration to those who are saying something okay not just asking or whatever because there's some of you that uh, joined the project of, of the UFO and have the UFO and then can, they can realize this uh, by using also this tool others don't but they are following the theory and anyway there's a lot of things that can be done despite you having UFO or not uh, but the point is that there has to be some kind of uh, improvement in the things we do so the moment I study something is just to improve and better my, my forex experience and trading experience so thank to all of you that are uh, writing me every day or contacting me via Skype uh, always if I have time I can give some time to that but at this moment I'm very busy so I wanted to uh, use this time also to thank you all and all for all your comments and if I if it's possible for me I would follow in that I don't have the website that I was planning to do because trading was m even more interesting and absorbing my energy so this I am answering to some questions that I got in, in these months um, but I think it's more effective to do a good trading and anyway the web is here so 
this is also a good point of contact where to focus all the energies so <coughs> the stars whatever so normally in the let's put a chart whatever we want the start from euro dollar and so you can have a, an idea of what I'm trying to new chart window okay so let's give a template okay so basically this is the Friday the fourth of time I'm gonna talk about the fourth of January 2019 markets are closed this time I won't do any kind of this is more a webinar this is not something to prove what you can see in the dozens of videos that I shown uh, with real life market conditions what math based analysis can provide in terms of selecting the better currencies that will form the pairs that will be part of the portfolio that has to be efficient therefore positive this is why math based analysis for a positive for a positive uh, trade performance because every day there is a development of the currencies in a way that we have to understand in different time frames this is the problem the problem is the time time is money they say yeah but in the horizontal axis time is relative because we can analyze one minute or one hour or one day or one month or one week and all in the middle and this is very this is probably more noisy than a noisy chart it's more noisy the selection of time so we have to reason <coughs> in simple blocks and in fact in the UFO if you follow my previous videos all the previous videos that I made you've noticed that here at the top now at the moment the markets are closed so there's no action for that algorithm but normally you're used to see here a, a series of values of each currency and then you have more boxes so you have the chart of the month the week the day four hours one hour half an hour and so on <coughs> and with the values compared to that time frame okay then I received some emails were asking me what are the best time frames to operate with normally let's take an assumption that a trade to be efficient must have a vision of a day and the day composes the the full lap of continuum section because we have five days in a row where markets never closed vacation or holidays excluded so we need to consider the week the development of the week at least as a minimum setup and the day and I also, of course, with my tools, because I, within a moment I will also show you some Excel, and this is the part of a different webinar that I'm doing today. <coughs> so I also observe other time frames, but I focus on the daily and the weekly. Okay. So you see numbers that are regarding the strength or the weakness. of the currencies therefore if we have eight currencies which are of course euro usd k 
CAD, Swiss Franc, GBP, Aussie, Kiwi and Yen. We have to select the one, two, strong and one, two, weak and then pair them together somehow. This creates an efficient portfolio with performance major to zero, positive. <coughs> and this is what we want to do. So a lot of questions that were coming from you were regarding the fact that the numbers that you normally see at the top right of the screen were somehow having not that much sense and this is what I want to do this evening and also say something more at the end but give a graphical representation of those numbers with an idea in mind can really help those who already have this tool, the UFO to have a better understanding of what they're doing because it's a tool that I normally use from time to time and this is more exclusive because it's the development of the UFO into an Excel spreadsheet um, which can give more opportunities to make calculations that MetaTrader 4 doesn't have <coughs> okay so we notice here the euro dollar <coughs> in the session of today, but I don't want to talk about euro dollar. I'm starting from that. Okay, so the the expert advisor cannot go at this moment because there are no uh, ticks to to have an, an expert an exposition of the values but these values have been registered into this spreadsheet what is this first of all for for understanding normally we have the charts we go left to right in the reading because of the many sorry because of the many spreadsheets I have, okay, there are a lot of spreadsheets here. These spreadsheets, anyway, <coughs> are recreating the UFO directly from data that are uh, exported from NT4 into a folder and uh, taken as a basic values for the calculations into uh, an Excel spreadsheet. <coughs> we can notice that in this case the readings are from uh, right to left because the first value, the most recent value, what we have here on the right, extreme right because of a spreadsheet vertical calculation which places at the top always the first data we have to read these in the opposite direction so from right to left this sounds like uh, Da Vinci uh, method but I think that Forex is even more evil and perverted that for me is fine to have a reading in this case of the currencies so these are the values normalized on a base of, of minus uh, of plus one and minus one or plus 100 minus 100 doesn't matter um, they are all normalized but it's basically what we see here for example here we can see these values, this is the CAD, the green is the CAD, okay, uh, let me show you here, let's see if, okay, 
oh sorry the green is the OZ okay for example in this case the day I am observing uh, half of the day the day the day before and the week so when we see the values in the UFO we can have the weekly and the daily okay so let's treat to the weekly and the daily only and I see that I have this peak so is the OZ in the UFO in MT4 I will see the OZ with, with the positive value and higher than any of these ones the grey is the CAD purple is the GBP blue is euro red is dollar USD black is New Zealand dollar okay yellow is Swiss franc okay did I forget oh and brown which is here is the yen Here is the brown. Yeah, okay. <coughs> I'm sorry, this could be a really a bit boring, but it's important because the reason why 99 90 percent of traders are failing is this is because Forex is this this is the perpetual motion and oscillation of the currencies that we have to detect and select but forex is this this is the the sort of uh, graphic explanation of the currencies and then we just take a part of this in this how can we have an understanding this is the euro dollar of what it's going on and if we had selected euro dollar to trade in the day of uh, Friday we would have not been very success successful at least unless we had open sell trades in this area or buying trades in this area right so if we were somewhere around here that would have not been such an efficient uh, asset to select right but the problem is and this is why I'm saying I have to compare the weekly values and the daily values in the UFO panel is because what I see here is the explanation of the thing so let me co consider this I observe the values in the UFO and I see that Aussie is pretty uh, strong huh? because it has entered this zone this is a very important zone so when a value breaks and this is trend following I see that USD CAD since that's an important time if it, if if the beginning of the chart there are four charts here so let's take the daily chart and if let me just do also this so it, you can better understand if this is the beginning the now and now these data are at 
19, see up here in the yellow, is at 19 of that day. This is the date of today that I am recording. But these are the hours of the server, so it's 19. So this time here is 19. Okay. So 7 p.m. of the server. So, if I'm here, when I see that the OZ here at the top is starting to go up this way, here, at this point in time, this is why I'm dealing with time on a daily basis or on a <coughs> weekly basis, but this will come after, okay? I see that OZ here at this point in time so what point is this around here okay is 0.118 okay so these are the time frame that i exported the data to achieve this result is five minutes so sorry this is uh, this point 100, 118, okay, 119, 118, let's do 120, around this point, okay, 120, per 5 minutes is 600 minutes, divided 60 minutes is 10 hours, okay, so 10 hours ago, so if now is 7 p.m., okay, 10 hours ago it's it's 19 minus 10 is 9 p.m. is 9 a.m. okay so at 9 a.m. of the server in the morning i see that Ozzy is starting to break okay and this is also reflecting what is occurring in the half of the day analysis. But what is more important is that in the weekly analysis, we see that OZI, it has broken this level, okay, which basically is this level. And hopefully, because this is the trade setup of this week, so if the trade setup of the next week with, uh, will confirm what I'm seeing now in these time frames, what I'm saying now can be somehow assumed also for the first days of the next week to come, so from this Monday but they have to be confirmed by the numbers <coughs> so i see that ozi is raising and also is raising in the day before look at this bang bang this this break this break here was then this break here confirmation this is trending so we have the higher number both in the in the algorithm in the UFO in the MT4 we have a great number <coughs> in the weekly and in the uh, daily well we find anyway that we have a positive value this has to be clear in the day week thinking that we have two both this so this won't be the strongest but it has to be positive okay it has to be positive this is why I focus also on analyzing the day before which is not very possible with um, with the MetaTrader I have to create an extra algorithm for that. It's more easy with uh, Excel. 
anyway so confirm it that it has broken this level because of this this is a specific level that goes above the 100 and starts from 95 or 9.5 or 0 0.95 is the same this is a kind of confirmation that at least we go up to the next level <coughs> so if I were and I would have been at 9 a.m. reading these values because this is not repainting this is what it is this is story historical data calculated I see also what I see yen entering this extreme low level so extremely negative and also here it appears and we have to see here these crosses between uh, yen and Swiss franc and yen and euro later but anyway also here even with, with some peaks the lowest one was entering already entered in the daily okay and this is just in the uh, half of the day um, here was re already entered so Aussie yen should have been the trade the first selection then of course keeping in mind that Aussie yen means Aussie buy and yen sell what other currencies could have been paired if we take a look at here Aussie buy yen sell means <coughs> this kind of event Yen is breaking something like a threshold in the lower part of the day and it's also breaking down from a higher point so selling Yen here means because of this that says sell means a breakdown so what I'm having here this is not yen like here because this is the weekly let me just put this a bit more so you can see interesting what that in the weekly this is not uh, the time frame we are observing we are observing this moment in time okay more or less and we see that here we are having two near currencies that are showing some interest this is euro this is Swiss franc and this one that has just started from here is uh, New Zealand dollar okay which have not broken this level but somehow they have been rejected okay this we see the Swiss franc is more faster at this moment but it shows some kind of re re support and then it's a great up okay so let's say that I would have intend to use these currencies that have somehow 
shown uh, some support at this level because this is, these are the levels where words like support, resistance, peak, head and shoulder, whatever, they have sense. They don't have sense on the charts because in the charts we observe we are observing a ratio, not the whole. See, we have these peaks up of each currency. So, as a secondary option for the portfolio after Aussie Yen in buy, I could select also, let me to do what normally as usual I do. Let's write this so we can keep in mind and follow. for this inconvenience <coughs> pen size what is wrong with you apparently I cannot write let me check uh, if I can correct the screen is I have a double screen and it's not working anyway. Let's see if I can make it somehow. Oh, it's not working. Okay, well, how, what can we do? We can do this. We can write a note. Let's write a note. Let's write a note here. So we have the weakest and the strongest. And we have as we we said Japanese yen. And as a strong, we have the Aussie, and we have the, the, the other three selections that show some support, at least at that moment, on that level, and they, they show some kind of uh, uh, push up. In that case, so they are accordingly not the strongest, 
like Aussie yen that they are having they will have probably a positive bounce so we had Swiss franc euro and New Zealand dollar okay So, I don't need this. Okay, so, what are the trades that are coming out from this combination? Well, it's very simple. Ozi, Yen. Very simple. This is the equation. So at nine o'clock, what can we say also? So at this time, let's say, for example. Yen. but we didn't know at that moment Be at that moment we knew only this setup so at this point we were also facing uh, yeah uh, this level here which is this um, threshold here was here okay so it wasn't like in this condition it was a kind of and in fact here more in detail in the day before there was a minimum of the Swiss franc with a push up at least for that day and uh, euro well euro is this one let me show you better okay so euro was going from a negative a positive situation in negative and positive and also New Zealand dollar this is the New Zealand dollar okay so it was a kind of stationary at this level for them but that was anyway level of support it appears from this analysis well. <coughs> so we have to do now go into our uh, trading platform and as we said here we have OZN This is the OZN. This is a 15 minutes chart that around 9, so here, set OZN. Hundred and fifty pips up. Then we had Swiss franc yen. Around nine. 
says Swiss franc up throw down of 10 pips up of 70 pips euro yen <coughs> this is more scary round 9 draw down of 25 pips but remember we trade combo so we put all of them so that if some something goes wrong in one of them the other compensate and this make makes our stop loss stop loss doesn't have to be intended as price level because they can be kept by a retracement move like this but you have to put a, an overall stop loss on your equity that's the only stop loss 2% 1% 3% but on the equity of your portfolio. Anyway, we got 75 pips up at the end of the London session. Then we got New Zealand dollar yen. New Zealand dollar yen. at 9 o'clock you can see the time and everything at 9 a.m. a hundred and fifteen pips up four currencies four currencies it's uh, one, two, three, four, five currencies, four pairs traded. With a bit of drawdown that could have occurred at that moment of the movement of the Euro Yen, which should have been not that considered, because if we stay strict to the plan, we see only the great reactions not the oscillating movements and also we have to we have to understand that we also have to read these charts as well but somehow this is the most weak and this is the most strong um, the ones that are breaking some levels of extra high and extra low this is the noise that we see in the charts okay and uh, this is pretty uh, confusing at the beginning but it's very simple because as i showed you here in the day you can really see the euro you may notice this stuff here so the euro the dollar in the day cat the gray one yellow swiss franc purple is the gbp new zealand dollar yen all at the bottom and then we have the maximum and the minimum okay same thing here because here we can observe for example yen that from the top goes down so it's really breaking here down at least for So if these values are confirmed a 
at the beginning of the next week and the scenario stays strict to the plan so this thing I need at least the Monday to analyze this uh, it's more likely that things can evolve that's by the fact that I have to be careful of, about some pull-ups or retracements but even if I am suffering some drawdown because I enter too early um, I can always count on the fact that I am I have identified correctly the trend of the currency the four of the the, but the currencies that better express and perform the trend accordingly to the performance of the markets which is this stuff <coughs> notice the fact that when I reach these values and I am entering I say 9 o'clock because this was the beginning of the day at the beginning of the day I was having only this portion of data and of course this this uh, look this was located here with all the regression of course but at that moment this was the data from here to here So Yen was breaking and Yen was at the top on the week and the day before was already falling down. So it's multiple level stuff. There are levels and levels that, but we don't take all the mess in the, in the middle at the moment. We take only one, two and from a further analysis that despite the fact that comes from an analysis of the currencies and because of this it's both technical and fundamental because technical analysis relies explicitly only on charts like this this kind of technical analysis it's the technical analysis that becomes fundamental and we can observe that there are some peaks that are necessary to do to create confusion and indecision but we really pick up things that are making not like euro yen even if it made a positive with a bit of retracement at 5 at 17 so 5 p.m. while the Swiss franc also at 5 p.m. was having this the Aussie the New Zealand dollar yen at 5 p.m. look here at 5 p.m. it has a completely up so at that moment it was in pair was helping to compensate and the OZ yen was also going up so at the end by entering at that moment with those pairs only so four pairs to trade I was basically having a straight line up just because I consider the numbers that are in the UFO that here you can have a representation from right to left and have an idea of what this, those numbers are okay so what to expect for the next week Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, 
I would trust my numbers the moment I see that. Okay. Of course, this is a mental approach. It's like uh, an algorithm, a robot. There are some certain things, no matter what, because we have two days of darkness, that by my experience, let me say next week, what is going to happen, what I demonstrated you here now and explained was any way what to effectively select for a trade of the Friday morning based on values that are high and low of, cer of certain currencies that are the same levels in the euro fall. And what would have been the experience of about four or five hundred pips in global with only four pairs, majority of time in positive. That's very simple. If the scenario is the same on Monday, Monday, Tuesday, then I could say that this is a good element that if you watch the video again and maybe you consider the way I, yep, you of course I know that I'm closing now this video because it's about the hour that I was intended to do this, but what are the suggestions at the end of this? Focus on certain parts of the video. If you like, you can always go back and you can also check with your MetaTrader the charts that I'm showing you now, that I've shown you in this video, and see if the data are genuine and are the same that you are uh, having in your trading environment and what you see now here is a kind of uh, radiography okay x-ray of the currencies that you can analyze you can go back into the video you can see where are the, these uh, these lines like if you were watching the end the UFO and this is for all of you so it's just a, an analysis that can give you a suggestion for making your analysis this is not a suggestion to trade uh, because trade is very personal and someone has a different kind of attitude to risk compared to another one so this is just intended for a market analysis. Of course, we don't do market analysis for itself. We do that for developing a trading plan, a trading action. So if this data may be coherent and it can be another kind of confirmation to your analysis, to your personal analysis of the markets, well, then you have at least another point of view that can be hopefully helpful or inspiring for your trading um, uh, technique or strategy, whatever you have. <coughs> so, probably I will do other webinars, I don't know, but there were a lot of fragmentary questions in the emails and a lot of people that want to speak, I can have more time in the future, at this moment I wanted to develop all this stuff and have a better understanding from many points so that I could have made also a video that can be <coughs> somehow more graphical and make understand things that only number in. I see those, this stuff I see in my brain the moment I see numbers, but it took me a while to make uh, figure it out how the things should have been and uh, and this is the result which lets my analy daily analysis on the forex 
so thank you very much for your patience and, uh, and interest in following along this webinar of course you may have probably questions and, but I suggest you to watch the video at least a couple of times because despite the fact that it seemed very simple um, to select the top and the above and that's it there, are, there, there is a lot of information that I have released right now and um, so if you have questions it's good to receive some emails or comments it would be more appreciable some comments so in that case they can they can be like a question for a, uh, an answer for a lot of similar questions and for all the other stuff like if you want to communicate if you see that if, if there is an opportunity or not to enter in this project uh, and uh, or whatever to talk about what can be mentoring or whatever you can contact me privately uh, via email or skype no problem um, i will of course make a selection so if you write just hey hi how much is the ea <laughs> what can i say it's not that's not the purpose of the thing so okay so i will consider only those who are writing with some sense and with some meaning and not that they have to say that I'm good or whatever this is not what it's about but it's about talking like a trader or someone that has experience and doesn't have to be positive or negative but has to be conscious this is very important because this is not an automated trade this is better than an automated trade for me because it shows me, it makes all the, the automation of the computations, which is, I don't know, 30, 30 spreadsheets before arriving to this one. Uh, so it's already enough. With this, I don't need automation. I need to be in the morning at nine o'clock and at nine o'clock here put 0 0.3 0, 0 0.03 0 0.05 up for the US yen and realize 150 pips okay so for me for my vision an automation can to do something like this can be done it's very exhausting but uh, i still prefer this way because i can do fundamental analysis as well on the real behavior of the currencies and then arrive to the pairs as I always explained as you saw before so I hope <coughs> that this the content of this video found you uh, well <laughs> and if you're still awake I thank you for watching for subscribing the channel some months ago I arrived to a thousand members so it's important uh, word or recognition for myself which means that it's what I'm doing has some sense so if you want to be posted for further videos you can always subscribe and I thank you for that and thanks for your comments and uh, as usual since a while have a good space and a good time